And now let's get an update on the current uh, floods in, Mal in Malaysia. Yes, uh, joining us live is Alfred Balmes. Alfred, tell us more, please. Hi, Alma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Yes, in here, Malaysia, the number of flood victims in the state of Johor Bahru has increased slightly to 5,399 people from 1,430 families at 8 a.m. today compared with 5,634 people from 1,416 families at 4 a.m. According to the State Health and Environment Committee Chairman R. Mijanantan, no new temporary relief centers, PPS, were open and that the number of centers in the state remains at 81. He added that Sigamat remi remains as the district with the highest number of victims with 3,804 people from 1,014 families seeking shelter at 51 PPS. Tangkak has 598 victims from 143 families and 13 PPS. Mersing with 470 victims from 125 families at 7 PPS, while 161 victims from 42 families are the 5 PPS in Moar. Kota Tinggi has 131 victims from 38 families seeking shelter at its 2 PPS. Kolang with 124 victims from 37 families at 1 PPS and 111 victims from 31 families at the 2 PPS in Batu Pahar. Bichanatan said that the three rivers in Johor are still in dangerous level. According to him, the two rivers in Sigamat, namely Sungai Muar in Kampong Awat and Sungai Muar in Bulu Kasap, are still at the dangerous level, as well as Sungai Kesang in Kampong Sirima Amor in Tangkak, coding that Johor Irrigation and Drainage Department. Meanwhile, a total of nine roads in Sigamat and one in Muar are still closed to all vehicles. The roads that are closed in Sigamat are Jalan Kuala Raya, Balai Badang, Jalan Puting, Jalan Tumang, Jalan Sikarek, Jalan Tunggu Tiga, Jalan Pago, Kampong Tanjong, Jalan Sinai Jemas, and Jalan Perda Bidway. While the closed road in Muar is Jalan Muar Labes. That would be the quick update here in Malaysia, Alma. Thank you very much, Alfred. Please stay safe. Thank you for your time. Likewise, live reporting from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is Alfred Balmes. We live in interesting times. And the news continues.